Hello guys, I got some juicy news for you guys. It's mostly for upcoming contents though. Believe me, it's good news so stick around with your boy. And I will be showcasing Evolve Dark Flash, so stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Only takes a second, and it help your boy to grow. So let's evolve this unit. To evolve this unit, you need to do map 1 act 6. Nightmare, can't forget the difficulty. Now this is the third unit that's able to be evolved. Let's fit him into the team, then maybe roll a technique on him. Well, you're only four spins. I don't even know why these technique in the game. Let's go showcasing. This will be base level one stats. First of all, the starting cost is pretty good. Become hybrid on upgrade 5. On upgrade 6 he changes his attack pattern or effect. 2 cone. One of the mightiest beasts has been summoned. He got the fear passive as well. So it's electrified and cripple combines. It's stunned five times and increased damage. With the last two upgrades, his cone changed to a 60 degree angle. Attack speed mad high though. Edit. This is me from the future. His max stats is 143,000 damage at level 75. Not a bad design, but I was expecting some tail beast bomb or something. His placement is to buy the way. Let's go dive into the news. Trust me, it's for us free to play. So by the time I'm recording this, there have been some news about features updates. I'm here to share it with you guys. And for those who don't have Discord, let's scroll to the top. So it start from here. So they are basically saying is a new technique called glitch that had a plus one placement. Example like unit that can only be placed once. So now you can place the Sukunas. That's not all reduced the cost for the unit and gives it the ability to level up to 85 with a few perks like damage, range and SP above. That's a W technique, but it's celestial rarity you're probably impossible for F2P. Next on the list is for ultimate units, mash etc. But they mentioned ultimate level exotics, so I'm confused here. Then they gave us an example. Mash would decrease party SP by 5%, only if he's in your team. Next on the list is a new game mode. This is the second thing I'm hyped for. It's similar to Portal with a six player limit, but on a Among Us type of gameplay, so each person has to defend their own base, where they get more to upgrade their cash or send out zombies. Sounds interesting. At least they are finding ways, so we enjoy the game. Next on the list is new rarity of techniques. So they basically saying they would be rarer than celestial. Good on any unit with special auras. So now we will have ultimate techniques just like ultimate units. Now for this best thing they are probably adding. A way for us F2P can get technique rerolls. For me as AF2P, or even a player trying to roll for a technique, is stressful. Even in Anim Adventures The Cash Grab Cow, I had like 6 divines, 
but from you can see it probably would be to percent rates for one to three rolls but a few minutes after he said it would be 10 percent rates now this would be way better than two percent if my maths is correct you should at least get re-roll in every five to ten runs and it can be either one to three re-roll comment down below and tell me what do you think of these upcoming features don't forget to like share and subscribe